This is AEDT 1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. Title of this particular video clip is HCHI Competency and Interaction Model. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, what similarities and differences can be noted between all of the proposed functionality models found on slide three? Number two, how is the technical competency found in Desjardins model different from the three other competencies. Number three, <clears throat> identify a digital technology that would fit in each of the overlaps in the HCHI model. Be prepared to defend your choices by identifying the competencies that are required to use each technology. Number four, what is the relationship between the three tasks a computer can perform and the competencies identified in the HCHI model? This video clip is the second of two that comprise the setting for PBL Scenario C. Use the ideas and questions from this video clip along with the previous clip to identify problems of importance to you and your group members about computers, software and important affordances or tools and the ability to complete tasks with those tools. While IEEE holds to its story, <clears throat> there have been and continue to be a number of groups that are working on the same question from a number of different angles, typically starting from the perspective of what skills are necessary to complete certain tasks, categorizing these skills and distilling the categories down to the primary and secondary purposes of using digital technologies. The table presented on the screen presents an analysis of these various approaches. Notice that there is a fair amount of agreement between all of the groups. It is also interesting to note that it, there is not complete agreement, particularly with the ISTE NetW and the OECD PISA models. As we have discussed in an earlier video clip, according to the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IEEE, a computer is a digitally, usually electronic these days, device that can perform three separate types of tasks. It can transmit information, it can store information, and it can process information. Desjardins' HCHI interaction model, which will be introduced in the following slides, is derived to a large degree from the IEEE minimal computer model. According to Desjardins 2001-2005, computer usage can be categorized using four categories, three of which derive directly from the three tasks that computers can perform. The final category, has been added in recognition that the computer must be given commands in order to complete these tasks. The following text, to be expanded upon through the coming weeks, briefly describes each of these interactions, or if you prefer, competencies, otherwise known as the ability of individuals to complete tasks using computers in this particular case. The text makes broad reference to the two cat papers by Desjardins 2001-2005 that are referenced on the theory page toward the end of this video clip. First of all then, the technical order, TO. <clears throat> if individuals which wish to operate the technological objects, the computer, associated peripherals, the basic operating system, they must have knowledge of the language, the vocabulary, and the different symbols, or the icons and tiles in the new uh, Windows 8 operating system, uh, the different symbols that are used as well as some of the general commands. Required skills include some basic skills to operate the keyboard, mouse, touchscreen, and other peripherals. Generally, these skills must be developed through experience with the technology and applied in order to interact effectively and efficiently with the technological object itself. All of the knowledge and skills listed earlier constitute the knowledge that the subject will draw upon using specific criteria derived from the analysis of a situation to plan and use the technological object. The social order, or SO, quoting directly from Desjardins 2005, which is a translation from the French, uh, when one individual, uh, quote, when one individual wishes to communicate with another and conditions are such that direct person-to-person -person conversation is not possible because of distance or time, some computer-mediated communication technology can be used. Although such situations require that both subjects possess basic competencies of the technical order, this is not sufficient for the social interaction to be meaningful, worthwhile, and safe. 
Successful communication will require knowledge of the written language variants uh, currently used in email, as well as the different conventions of netiquette and even nethics or net ethics. In other cases, the subjects will be will have to be particularly aware of intrinsic delays in certain types of video conferencing or even simple chat. Finally, when these com communications involve exchange of confidential or sensitive information, such as credit card numbers, medical or legal information, the subject must be aware of the risks, and they must be also be aware with and follow appropriate and ethical security procedures. You must construct this procedural knowledge by reflecting on results of a variety of communications experiences and develop a concern for the needs of others in order to develop a strategy of thinking about and acting with others that would be safe, viable, and ethical. This language, the practices in these conventions, once known and used by the subject in computer-mediated communication, constitute competencies that this model refers to as competencies of the social order. The informational order. In the past, when most of the information available on the World Wide Web was in the form of web pages, it was appropriate to know how to, for instance, search for information that fits specific parameters, requiring knowledge of how to make effective use of search engines. Secondly, you might want to sort or select in order to make sense of the results of your search. And you might want to manage or create a report or have some other way of presenting the results of your search. Currently, the situation has become grave in that, unlike when I started using the internet in the early 1990s, information sources abound. Information bombards us whether we are looking for it or not. The competencies now uh, that are required now include aggregation of information from a number of sources, filtering of information by a number of processes, including using our friends as trusted sources, and finally, connecting the information that is uh, filtered to other ideas and other people. The epistemological order. With increasing capabilities, computer technology now, in quote, um, allows the digital processing of text-based information of numbers and symbols, as well as images, video, sound, either in standalone documents or in complex databases or sim simulation systems. The basic principles guiding the use of these modern systems remain the same. The assignment of a task to a specific software program requires that the user, one, is able to plan the task, two, knows the precise commands and the working parameters of the software package used, and three, know and understand the fundamental rules, methods, and parameters of the relevant discipline. Therefore, in order to use a spreadsheet, a database, a statistical pa package, a qualitative data analysis system, or any other information processing software effectively and efficiently, a user must clearly understand the discipline involved as well as the structure, commands, and parameters of the software used. This conceptual knowledge translated into operational methods or schema is required for efficiently and effectively identifying and solving problems or for the accomplishment of specific tasks. The competencies that allow the user to get the most out of the use of the computer in problem-solving tasks or in stating and verifying hypotheses are referred to in this model as competencies of the epistemological order, end quote, as taken from Desjardins, Lacasse, and Bel Air, 2001. The schematic on the slide illustrates an analysis of the interaction of the orders that were previously described. So if individuals wish to use communication technology such as SMS or text messaging, instant messaging or chat or Skype, we see that this will require both technical and social competencies. In the same way, if, if individuals wish to study a specific, specific topic by finding appropriate information, they will need to utilize technical as well as informational competencies. The really interesting part of this model, for me anyway, is demonstrated when we look at Web 2.0 or social networking affordances such as Facebook or LinkedIn. It can be seen that, seen that competencies from the technical, social, and informational orders is required. Web 3.0 or the semantic network requires technical, information, and epistemological competencies. If the model on the previous slide turns out to be valid, 
It can then be turned around and used as an analysis tool to study computer programs in order to determine the kinds of affordances that are being offered and what their application might be in contexts such as adult education. If the model was applied to Adobe Connect, what could we say about the affordances that are offered and their value to adult education contexts? The theory slide in this particular instance uh, refers to the two papers that um, have been running throughout the basis or uh, laying the foundation for the rest of this uh, video clip, and that is Desjardins, um, 2005, Teachers' Representations of Their Computer-Related Competencies uh, Profile Toward a Theory of ICT in Education. And this was uh, found in CJLT. Um, this paper, as uh, mentioned earlier, is a translation of French, and as a result, uh, uh, my translation skills are not the best, and there may be some awkwardness to the text. Uh, the second paper is Desjardins, Lacasse, and Le Bel Air, Toward a Definition of Four Orders of Competency for the Use of Information Communication Technology, or ICT, and that was taken from the eilab.ca site. It brings us to the synthesis questions for this video clip, and they are as follows. Number one, there are a number of functions that are part of the ISTE, NetW, and OECD PISA studies that have been excluded from the table on slide three. What justifications can be made for the exclusion or the inclusion of these functions? Secondly, all four competencies listed in the HCHI interaction model require knowledge as well as skills. Identify the knowledge and skills required for each. Number three, analyze and then provide justifications for your analysis of one tool in Adobe Connect, such as the VideoPod using the HCHI model. And number four, hypothesize as to the kind of tools we could invent to match the overlap of all four orders in the HCHI model. That is, what kind of technology would we be looking at that would require technical, social, informational and epistemological competencies. And that brings us to the end of this particular video clip.